So, uh, you tend to believe that there's a certain amount of respect. The expression, the fear of God. How do we do it indeed? Better than it was. Well, can you be counting on you, brother? Yes, sir. One thing that I will say. Call me sir again and I'll kill you. He means it. I do enjoy the I know it sounds weird for uh thing to like about um, a western movie but um, I like the kind of like you know the camera's coming up. It's a POV sort of thing, like um, it's handheld, but you can tell that. Um, there's there's no score, and it kind of makes you crazy at the be <laughs> at the beginning. Not that I'm very far through this movie, but. <clears throat> Got a lot on my mind. The nice thing that I like about this movie is there's a certain elegance to its simplicity. After all, Sheriff, we're all lined up on this fence here. What would you like us to do? We're not professional actors or nothing. We're just kind of fans of this idea, I assume. We're the cowboys. You telling me that you didn't hear about that last sheriff that we gunned down? Excuse me for nothing, but I believe that uh, you're not understanding our arrangement. Do you think that a cowboy would like to be told what to do? Something like that, right? That's kind of what this movie is. Um, <clears throat> Doc Holliday is like whoosh, telling us. Sorry, I'm not dressed currently. <laughs> Man, that's supposed to be Wyatt, eh? He's got the big, he's got one heck of a big uh, white scarf around his neck. Uh... <laughs>
um, that ear piercing video, there's like a little bump. I was pulling the thing <coughs> in and out, and uh, <coughs> wait, so this is cool. Check this out. I can pause this. Looks to me like that's the church that they used to gun down the other marshals. Okay, we got the scene. And walk forward. <laughs> okay, and coming into frame. Everybody in their spot. Let's wait for him to come out. When I say photography studio, some of you start moving. That's the cue. It's a short scene. Everybody ready? Like, why not? I want well, this is awesome. Where what do I do? Just go out. Hello, life goes on. Mini, will be that song. Bini. Apologies for my neighbors, I think. Uh, Paul. Oh, I see the O is sticking. Uh, Paul. Jeez. Uh, Whoops, what happened here? This paper, who knows how long this paper has been in here. is the typewriter that my parents had in their basement from Smith Typewriters Limited at 781 Dundas Street. It's part of your daily review. This is
Okay. Do you see that this moves when you push it almost all the way? When you and then when you do it all the way, this little mechanism here is in control of the lines going back, which turns the page gauge, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and obviously this is the um, whatever you call it. And there's your margin. Okay. Um, this model has the shift button, obviously, and then if you see that on the left side there's two buttons coming down, yes, that is your cap lock. Okay. Um, there's low, medium, high on the Smith Corona. Galaxy Deluxe. <clears throat> and then this switch, of course, switches the ribbon. The ribbon is upside down right now, but you get the idea. Uh, I thought that you could see it. I guess it must adjust. Um, Everything's there. We go. That's to pull it back over. Okay. Right. This just slides down, and that's where the ribbon is. This ribbon's not going. That's what's going on here. 